to your favorite breakfast show, Reality Check with Trips, reaching you live and exclusively from your five-star radio station, Media Mall 100.5 FM. My name is Trips Itoma, and we are still talking about bizarre happenings in our city. It's like the world is coming to an end. There's hardly any good news anymore. Body parts littering the road, girls getting raped and murdered in cold blood, young children going missing, and young men running mad. What really is going on? You know, I'm leaving the phone lines open. Call in and tell us what you think is going on. Uh, I, I think we have a call already. Hello, good morning. Hello. What's your name and Hello. where are you calling from? No, don't worry. My name is very important. I just want to put it out there. Just yesterday, I went out with my friend. We went to have fun. We went clubbing. And then a strange guy approached her and then they hooked up and then they left in the car. That's all I know. And then an eyewitness said they saw her coming out from the car. She stripped naked and started dancing, twerking, shouting, and then the eyewitness, the eyewitness said she thinks that he has used her for morning rituals. I don't know what is wrong with our young guys. I don't know what is wrong with them. They don't just want to put their hands into doing something profitable. They think that there is an easy way to getting money. They want to use people for rituals. They use fans. They use blood rituals. They kill people. I don't just know what is wrong with them. You guys are just lazy. You guys are lazy. I'm sure some of you are still sleeping by this time. You know what? Just get out there. Get your ass off. Stand up and look for something to do. If your certificate is not giving you a job, put that, put it aside. Look for something to do. Get a job. There is wriggling. There are other things you can do. Not just waiting for a white collar job. I don't know what is wrong with our, our guys today. They are just lazy. The people are just lazy. They are lazy. Esther, is that you? Ah. Thank her. I can't take this anymore. I have tried my best and I cannot watch my Millie die. I can't. My heart cannot take this anymore. Wait, 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 wait. Easy. What happened? What did the pastor say? The pastor said that her case is too serious for her to be in church. She needs to be in the hospital. My God. So... So the doctor said that if we had spent one more night in that church, she would have died. And they have refused to admit her. He said I should bring at least 50,000 Naira to commence treatment on her immediately. Am I going to get that kind of money from where? My God. What are we going to do? Seriously asking me that? Are you? This is your daughter's life you're talking about. Go out there and act like the man you are. Esther. Don't Esther me. Don't. Don't. Go out there and do something for once Esther. in your life, Vincent. Please, for Why once. Why are you saying this? Why are you saying this? How many times have you tried my best in this house? Your best. Vincent, your best. Vincent, look around you. Look at the poverty. He said that you have gone through hell with you and I don't mind. But my daughter's life is where I draw the line. If anything should happen to my baby, I will not just leave you, but I will make sure God will punish you. I know you are upset that our daughter is sick. But how is this my fault? How is any of this not your fault, Vincent? How? Go out there and act like the man you are. For once in your life, Vincent, I am pleading you for once, Vincent. Do something. Give me my daughter. You better not come back to this house. You better not come back without money.
Do I know you? I don't think so. But I've really heard about you. So I really need your help. Oh, you need my help? So does everybody on the planet. Have a nice day, my brother. Excuse me, sir. Please. The doctor said if I did not bring some money, then my daughter would die. Please, I need your help. Are you sure you are not one of these corporate beggars? Are you sure you are not playing with me? I swear. You can even follow me to the hospital. Don't give me any money. Just follow me to the hospital, sir. There's no time for all that. How much are we talking about? 50,000 naira, sir. 50,000 naira is what is making a grown man run on the streets like a cocky. What's that your name again, young man? My name is Vincent. Vincent. Not so fast. You think I made it to where I am by dashing money to strangers on the street? You have to earn it. If you really want the money, you have to earn it. I need you to do a little task for me. And if you succeed, <laughs> I will give you 500,000 Naira. 500,000 Naira? Oh, yes. Now, what is it that I, I, you want me to do? <laughs> That's not a problem. All I need you to focus on is how much you need the money. Are you sure you need this money? Then follow me. Let's go. <laughs> I see you are gearing up already. <laughs> Follow me, my brother. Follow me, let's go. You are welcome. Come in. After you spend 50,000, you are going to have enough change to do whatever you want to do. But first, the task at hand. Focus. Let's go. Follow me. Follow me. Listen. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Go back Don't inside. do it. Vincent, focus. Don't do it, my son. Go back, go back inside. It's not worth oh. it. Don't do it. It's this, not this worth it. Home, Come, let's go. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Follow, follow, let's go. Uh, Vincent, right behind that door is your task. Go on, open. Open it. Go on, open the door. What's that? It's beautiful, isn't it? A few days ago, we came in and we saw that. That's a charm. Is Juju? Yes. My enemies have gathered to eliminate me. And you want me to remove that? Of course, Vincent. That is your task. But how can I remove that? How are you even sure that I'm supposed to remove it? Vincent. I've spoken to the experts concerning things like this and they have assured me that all I need is a worthy man. A man with a good heart. A man just like you, Vincent. Yes. Have your word. Should anything happen to me, 
they will stand to take care of my daughter. You have my word. Cross my heart and hope to die. 